So with Iceberg, the cool thing is Iceberg orders have two types. There's two types of Iceberg order. The first one is a native Iceberg. So the exchange is allowing you to have an Iceberg and they handle it. They handle the execution of the Iceberg. And they have a specific order ID that with level three data, you can identify with 100% absolute certainty. So the so-called MBO data basically allows you to see Iceberg orders with 100% certainty because the exchange is putting this order for a big market participant and uh. fractioning it into very small orders. So you can see where is it? Is it moving? Is it staying in the same place? Is it filled? Is it finished? There's a bunch of information there. Then there is um, native, these are native icebergs and then there's synthetic icebergs. So icebergs which are created by the broker or by the firm and they kind of created themselves um, with the advantage of they're not really seen because it's anonymous. So it doesn't have the same order ID. Every single part of the order is a different order. Um, there's some other advantages, but you know, it's mostly disadvantageous, but um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in order flow that is okay. really interesting, but we're talking ma mainly about scalping mechanics. Okay. 